At the end of the last video, we set our aircraft due south of the station, heading east. The ADF is already tuned and has been identified, so with the station to our left, the needle points to our left. By turning toward the needle, we turn toward the station. All we would need to do to fly to the station at this point is keep the needle pointing up, a technique known as homing. We'll give ourselves a crosswind and then unpause the simulator to give homing a try. As our aircraft flies toward the station, it's being blown off course to our right, and the station is moving further to our left, which we can see on the ADF needle. Remember that with homing, we simply turn toward the needle to keep it pointing up. If there's more left deflection, we'll add more wind correction. Our compass now shows us that we're 5 degrees left of our original heading, and we'll keep adding more as long as the needle keeps deflecting. As we get closer to the station, the needle becomes more and more sensitive. you'll find yourself making constant heading corrections as you get within a few miles of the station. Less than half a nautical mile to the station now, the needle becomes difficult to keep centered. We're inside what's known as the Cone of Confusion. If you don't recognize that you're close to the station, you'll have a very hard time. When the needle swings past 90 degrees, we have what's known as Station Passage. As you can see, homing got us to the station, but it flew an arc which would cover a longer distance, costing more time, fuel, and money. Over a short distance, this wouldn't make much of a difference, but over long distances, it's better to use bracketing, 